Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gia. So today I'm going to be talking all about dating a Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius or you're dating a Sagittarius or someone with a Sagittarius placement, this video is for you. So this will be for a Sag rising, moon, sun, or Venus sign. So first I'm going to start off with saying that Sagittarius is a fire element. They are a mutable fire sign, a mutable sign, and they're ruled by the planet Jupiter, the planet of luck, expansion, abundance, knowledge. Sagittarius is also ruled by the ninth house in astrology, which is all about learning, higher education, philosophy. The ninth house is all about travel and learning abroad. Sagittarius is all about global expansion and also doing things in an ethical way. Sagittarius likes to be the student as much as they like to be the teacher. So these people are lighthearted. They are passionate. They are extremely passionate about what they want. They are very direct with their communication. They're very direct about what they want, but they're also very changeable being a mutable fire sign. They change their mind a lot and they can be a little bit sporadic at times, a little bit flighty. Like they go from one thing to the next very fast. And their emotions are the same way. Their emotions change from one thing to the next very fast, um, very like fast fire energy. So they're a sign that thinks fast, feels fast, and just likes to live fast. Being ruled by Jupiter, these people are very optimistic. They're very fun to be around. They usually offer a very lighthearted perspective to life and to the situation that you're in. Like there's someone that would kind of say a joke in a situation where it's like not appropriate because they just wanna add some kind of like happiness and lightheartedness to the situation. These people are all about exploring and adventuring. They're like the explorers of the zodiac. They want to know about different cultures, different places, different countries, different languages. They want to like understand how other people live, how other countries operate. They're really into philosophy and higher education and spirituality and wisdom. They want to know about all of the things that are unseen. They want to know about how things work. They want to know about how our society works and the deeper meaning behind things. These people are always trying to seek the truth in every situation. So you're going to notice that the Sagittarius will always dig deeper to try to seek the truth in every situation that you're in. And especially when they're connecting with someone and speaking with someone, they're going to want to get to the truth of what you're saying. and they're going to learn about so many different topics and things to really start to get to the truth of that topic because um, they really want to know it thoroughly. They want to master it. They want to understand it from all perspectives and all sides. So this sign is really, really into learning and educating themselves about everything so that they can also teach it because once you become a master at something, then you're able to teach it. So kind of like a Gemini, where a Gemini is very, like they'll learn a little bit about everything, they'll take what they want from it and leave what they want. A Sagittarius more so learns it thoroughly and masters it and then moves on to the next thing if they are operating at a higher vibration. So dating a Sagittarius, okay? So dating these people, there are so many things that you should know because these people are really not the best at committing, but once they do commit, they can be very loyal to their partners. So the main thing about Sagittarius is that they need freedom. They need freedom of speech. They need to be able to express anything to their partner without you judging them. And they also need physical freedom. They need to be able to move around. They need to be able to go see a friend. They need to be able to go on vacation or go travel or go do something a few 
hours away or just go on the short trip by themselves these people are very very into personal freedom so the main thing with dating this person is you cannot make them feel confined if you make them feel boxed in physically and also intellectually then it's just not going to work out with these people they're very flighty and they have no problem moving on to the next thing so if you're with this person you need to make sure that you give them a lot of space and freedom even if they get really tied up in the relationship relationship where they always want to be with you you need to give them that freedom and tell them to go like do things on their own because they're going to feel so much better once they do they're going to feel so much more refreshed and it's actually really good for the Sagittarius mental health to do this and sometimes they just need to take short trips away from their partner and when they come back they're going to feel so refreshed so renewed and really they're going to show up in the relationship better so just know a sagittarius taking a step back or you know having some time alone and maybe traveling somewhere just know that this is a part of the sagittarius energy and this is just who they are and it's going to help them to show up better in your relationship especially if you're with this person in a marriage or in the long term. These people want to be able to express their opinions, their ideas. They want to be able to share with you what they've learned on their journeys. They want to learn all these things and then bring it home to you and teach you about it. And they want you to be excited and, and want to learn and be intrigued about it. The Sagittarius never wants the relationship to get boring. They always want to keep it exciting. They always want to adventure, explore, do something different. So if you're with this person, they can slightly be impulsive. They may do things that can be slightly impulsive so they kind of need a partner that can like go on that wave with them and like if they want to do something kind of just like do it with them or let them do it so that the Sagittarius can feel like they have that freedom so if this person wants to do something slightly impulsive or travel somewhere and you don't want to do it just let them do it because they're going to feel so much better and sometimes they just need to do that impulsive thing and make up their mind and just go for it like they take risks in life like they don't live very comfortably like there are people that like to push the boundaries in life they like to push the boundaries of relationships of their own emotions of the physicality of life they like to push boundaries of their mental capacity and learn everything that they can so these people have a lot of space um, to really use like a lot of energy to use they have a lot of energy so they need to burn this energy off so it's really important for these people to have that freedom but also to like do physical activities like go hiking go on adventures like go for runs work out dance whatever it is the Sagittarius needs to blow off that steam to feel mentally stable so you have to kind of create a space for this person to be able to do that if you're in a relationship with them do something active with them work out go for a hike go on a small adventure with them you know a few hours away into the mountains or to a beach or do something that's really fun and new with the Sagittarius also teaching these people something new teaching these people something that is very new to them like this will be so exciting for them and even if they're kind of skeptical at first they're definitely going to do more research into it afterwards and they may even have like some kind of healthy debate with you about the subject and this is just the Sagittarius picking your brain and your intellect and this is very like sexy for the Sagittarius like even though they're a fire sign they really really value a mental connection with their partner and a partner that they can talk about anything with and you know they won't be judged for asking questions or talking deeper about it or just really expressing themselves passionately so another thing with being with this person like kind of all the other points i was saying they really really value freedom so you need to be someone that like does some kind of reversed psychology on them where like you need to be really into having freedom as well and that needs to be something that comes naturally to you but you need to show the sagittarius that you want that as well so that they can see that like you're compatible and that it can work because if they don't see that then it's going to be hard for you two to be together in the long run so another thing with this person with the sagittarius is that they are extremely direct and honest and this is like something a lot of people say about this energy is because they don't have a filter like they do not have a good filter um especially when it comes to saying things that 
are honest like they are very truthful they're always seeking the truth and they are very truthful themselves and they will tell you like it is if you want someone to tell you the truth you go to a Sagittarius but you know they may not give it to you softly they're gonna say straight up their opinion straight up what they think so when you're with this person you need to understand that like you can't be super sensitive about everything because these people are gonna say what's on their minds and you just need to understand this about your partner, about the Sagittarius, and you need to like work with this energy and just understand that the Sagittarius doesn't mean to be hurtful towards you or rude or, you know, judgmental in any way. They're just gonna tell you the truth. So if you're coming to them for advice or for their opinion, just know it's gonna be straight up and there's not gonna be any filter. And this is something the Sagittarius will do in all situations. So if you are uncomfortable with something that the Sagittarius says, to you you just need to tell them straight up and you also need to be very truthful and honest towards them because if these people commit to you and they are being very loyal to you you need to tell the truth because if you don't and they find out that you're lying these people are not gonna like that they're all about keeping things real um, very truthful being direct not beating around the bush not being passive so you just need to be very direct with these people about what you want and how you feel so these people want a partner that's gonna like plan fun dates with them. Like if you feel like the relationship is getting boring or stagnant, you need to plan some fun dates with this partner. Do something new with them, like show them something new, go somewhere new and just open your mind to the possibilities of the relationship. You don't wanna stay too stagnant in where you are in the relationship or too comfortable because that is when the Sagittarius is gonna wanna do something impulsive that may hurt you or may even hurt them and that's because they're bored but they don't even really understand that they're just bored so keep it fun keep it exciting do something spontaneous so the Sagittarius doesn't like when the relationship gets too serious or gets too conventional like they want something very like not traditional like non-traditional they want something very dynamic and fun and mutable and you can kind of switch up the roles in the relationship and if you're with this person and you are like fully with this person in a monogamous relationship you got to keep things fun and you got to not be someone that's super sensitive about them hanging out with other people or even flirting with other people because they just want to mentally mental connection with people, mental stimulation. And if you find that they're doing that, spice things up, do something fun with them, you know, keep them on their toes, keep them excited. Also doing that kind of reverse psychology on them where not like you're getting back at them for doing this, but also having a social life of your own and also being very exciting, going out with friends, doing things new. Then the Sagittarius will see that you're also being independent and doing your thing, which will inspire them to want to come back to you and it will inspire them to want to like build on the relationship more and keep this connection with you because they see like oh yeah I can see longevity here and it's not just this like superficial thing that you know if they start to be themselves more you're gonna run away because this is who you are kind of thing these people are about friendship above all and they want to be your best friend they want to have fun with you they don't want things to get so deep and serious right away of course that will come with time but it needs to be this like wave of energy where like it's still fun it's still spontaneous it's still light-hearted and it never gets too too boring and deep and you know where they feel like they're being tied down and there's no room for change or there's no room for their relationship to grow in other ways and expand they want expansion they want dynamic expansion in the relationship so you gotta be someone that's interesting and that is what the Sagittarius wants. These people can also be very physical. They can be very physical creatures. They wanna have physical activity. So make sure you give this person a lot of physical affection and love because that is truly what one of their love languages is. They wanna have that physical connection with you and they want things to stay motivated and inspired and they want you to motivate them and inspire them. and. That's pretty much all the Sagittarius needs. They just need someone that they can have fun with, like a best friend. And they want someone that can keep them on their toes and be as fiery as them. And even if you're not a fire sign, just really teach them things, like be very intellectual with them. That's why these people are really good with like 
um, air signs, you know, but also water elements can be really good in your partner's chart because it helps to balance out your fire, which sometimes Sagittarius can be a little bit detached from their emotions or they can have very explosive emotions. So when you're with this person, it's really important to be able to calm them down instead of matching their explosiveness and being combative with them because that's just not going to end well. The Sagittarius can be very defensive if they see that you're matching their dominance in that way when they're angry or they're just expressing passionately or you're, when you're not like fully understanding their perspective or their opinion, they're really not going to like that. And obviously don't agree with something that you don't agree with, but you need to find some kind of commonality because these people are going to express very passionately and they want a partner that has a very open mind and can see all sides of what they're saying. These people are really into different cultures, different places, different people. So they're going to have friends from all walks of life and they're probably going to attract a lover that is of a different ethnicity or culture than them because it interests them so much and it intrigues them and it's very different and they can constantly learn from this person because they come from a different background, different family and it's something that is really interesting and intriguing for the Sagittarius and there's someone that really sees this equality with all people and they just really want to learn about different people and different cultures and traditions. So if you want to travel, then the Sagittarius will love that. Sagittarius is all about traveling, okay? So you need to be someone that wants to get up and go and travel. And these are the kind of people that will backpack for years and be nomadic and just really live off the grid. You know, anyone with a Sag placement has some kind of dream of doing that. And it really fulfills their soul. And, you know, sometime in their life, they're going to do this. Whether it's when they're really old or young or whenever, they're going to make it a priority in their life. So you got to understand that the Sag wants to travel, want to be mobile in their life. So they don't want to just stay in one place for the rest of their life. So if you are someone that wants that lifestyle as well, I'm not saying that like all Sagittarius want that, but like most Sagittarius want that at some point in their life. So you got to be someone that's very open minded to the concept of traveling as well. Thank you so much for watching this video on dating the Sagittarius. If you are a Sagittarius or you're dating someone with a Sagittarius placement, comment down below. I want to know your experience. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I love you so much. I'm sending you so much love and I hope you have a gorgeous day. Bye.